So we're going to look at the photocell resistor, and you can see it has all of these receptors here where it is trying to look at the level of light. Remember, you do have right here in the micro bit, there, there is an embedded light sensor that's going to look at some things, but this light sensor is going to have different values than the photocell resistor. So in order to attach the photocell resistor, you need to attach to the legs. Now, if your legs are a little bit bent, you can straighten them out. So this is pretty pliable. You don't want to like tug super hard because it will come out, right? These are fairly fragile. And this input device also goes to three volt. So I have my double alligator clips because I need to attach one to the micro bit and I need to attach the other one to the photocell resistor. Now, what I want to make sure that I do is I don't touch these two things together, right? I don't want the legs to touch because that will not give us correct results and it might fry our micro bit. So I'm just going to go straight on like that. I'm going to take the other one. And again, my testing is looking at input zero, GPIO pin zero. So you could, however you've programmed it. And obviously there's only a limited number of pins. So depending on what you're using, you're going to program different pins to do different things. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to attach this. So I'm just going straight on so that they don't, they don't hit each other. And we're going to look to see. So we have a nice bright light going on. So we got 1,114. So we have pretty, so this is pretty bright light. The light is shining down. So it's light here. Now, if I put my hand over and I make it a little bit darker, let's see what happens. 975. So there's still light. It's still seeing some light, but it's darker. Let's look again. 970. Okay. So now let's see if I like totally cover this up. It's not getting dark. Let's see if I can hide it under my table. Nine sixty four. All right, I'm not making this go very dark now, am I? Hmm. Let me see if I can lock it in a box. I'm gonna take my box over here. I'm gonna close this. We're gonna see what we got. Okay, so 473 is what I'm getting when it's inside this box. And some light is getting through in the box just because I don't want to break the wires. But it's still not when I put it under the light so it gets brighter. It's getting, it's getting some light in there. But it's still, so it is lower. It's not, I'm not getting a zero value, right? So there is some light in here. So it's really important. Oh, I got down to 723 when I put my hand over the side of the box. So you need to write down what you get for your light values, sort of just in the room in general. Then maybe if you turn lights off, what happens? If you cover it or you put this um, photocell resistor inside of a box, what you're getting for your values. And, and remember, the important pieces are not to let these two legs touch. So you could maybe put something in between. Something, of course, it doesn't um, conduct electricity. So maybe like a rubber eraser or something to go in between if you wanted to do that. Or you could maybe use a styrofoam box, you know, a little block of styrofoam in between. Um, or you could tape them or you can think of different ways. So I just made sure that I splayed the edges so that it wouldn't go through. And that's all you need to do for the photocell resistor.